Hi, part four. So the next job now then is to realign where we've got gaps appeared here. So the way we're going to do that is just simply to query edit, bring that back and then go here and pick the constraint tool and we're going to add constraints there and there. Now I shouldn't have that break of continuity there so we'll just pretend that we haven't seen that. We're going to go for tangent accept constraints. This is our free modification surface. These are our target surfaces which will update accordingly to any movement we create any transformation to that surface and these are the constraint surfaces which will realign to our target geometry.